Hello students, welcome to NAC Biology. In this video, we will discuss about the endoplasmic reticulum. Here the structure what you are observing here in the cell that is the rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Now we will study a detailed analysis of this endoplasmic reticulum, how it looks and what are the elements present in that. Come let's start. Welcome back students. Endoplasmic reticulum, it is the most important organelle. It is present abundantly in the cell and we will see what are the elements present in this endoplasmic reticulum first. This endoplasmic reticulum consists of three elements mainly. The first one we call it as cisternae and the second one is vesicles and the third one is known as tubules. So first let us see what are these things. Cisternae are nothing but a network of tubular structure. It will appear like this. These are network. These are unbranched a tubular network like this. It will be continuous like this. It will be having a narrow lumen. The space within these cisterna, these tubes we call it as a lumen. Right? So here these uh, things what you are observing the space here this is nothing but the lumen and these tubes that is the blunt end tubes we call it as cisternae okay and this is one part that is one particular element of this endoplasmic reticulum and this cisternae usually having ribosomes on its surface these ribosomes will be attached to the cisternae with the help of a protein known as riboforin. Riboforin is a protein which helps to attachment of these ribosomes on the cisternae part. Okay. Next is vesicle. Vesicles are nothing but the circular structure. The circular structure once again studded by ribosomes also on its surface. These are present near to the cisternae. And another structure is tubules and these tubules will be like a network like structure only but these are branch, these are branch like this. These are branch and if you observe uh, keenly here the lumen of the cisternae is quite narrow but here the lumen is broader. Okay, so these structure are usually having connection or it will be near to the plasma membrane. It is near to plasma membrane. Whereas cisternae is near to the nuclear membrane. Okay, so once you understood this part that is the elements of the endoplasmic reticulum. Now when I draw the entire structure of the endoplasmic reticulum it is easy for you to understand properly right and the tubules once again it is most important the tubules do not have ribosomes that means ribosomes are absent here ribosomes are absent okay now we'll draw the structure of the complete endoplasmic reticulum how it looks in the cell let's assume it's a cell right because we have to show even the plasma membrane in order to show the connection of tubules so this is the cell right so obviously a nucleus will be located in the center because we are discussing about the animal cell but in order to make you understand i require more space that's why i'm writing here on the peripheral region don't get confused but it will be lies in the center okay so let me draw the nucleus here in this peripheral region Yes, the nucleus will be having the nuclear pore, everything that you have know well. And the outer membrane of the nucleus, let me take only one particular part. But don't get confused once again, not only in one region, it will be extend even from other part of the nucleus also. Almost all every part of the outer membrane of the nucleus give rise to this endoplasmic reticulum, right? But I am just explaining by taking only one part as an example. And this outer membrane, what I am showing here, this shows some evagination. Evagination means a quite blubbing. Okay. So this evagination that is from this blubbing portion, actually the cisternae arises. So you know what is cisternae? 
just now I told. This is the unbranched tubular structure. So this is the cisternae and cisternae will be having narrow lumen and on the surface or on this membrane the ribosomes will be studded over here with the help of a protein that is riboforins, right? So this type of cisternae which is studded with ribosomes we call it as rough endoplasmic reticulum R E R this is rough endoplasmic reticulum and from the rough endoplasmic reticulum or from the R E R another structure there is a tubules these tubules which will be having the narrow lumen and unbran sorry branch structures will be arises these branch structure will be arises and that will having connection with or it will be connected to the plasma membrane. This structure we call it as smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Sometimes the rough endoplasmic reticulum may show only a few degree, a few inches or only few is cisternae and after that the entire portions will be studded or will be covered by smooth endoplasmic reticulum but don't get confused only the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is arise from the nuclear membrane but actually the smooth endoplasmic reticulum arise from the rough endoplasmic reticulum that is from the cisternae part and that will be connected with this plasma membrane and on the either side or near to this rough endoplasmic reticulum the vesicles are present okay so vesicles are present only near the rough endoplasmic reticulum once again they are studded with the ribosomes also so all this structure all this structure together together constitute endoplasmic reticulum okay so endoplasmic reticulum carries so many function the first function is it acts like a cytoskeleton cytoskeleton because almost all entire cell have been covered by this endoplasmic reticulum part that's why it provide a proper structure and proper shape to the cell that's why it acts as a cytoskeleton to the cell body and the second function is it acting like a connecting bridge between the nucleus as well as the organelles of the cell if any messages or any information has to pass from the nucleus to the cell organelles or from cell to another cell obviously the informations or the material will be passed from the nucleus through cisternae and smooth endoplasmic reticulum that is the tubules that's why even the materials can be passed material can transfer transfer from nucleus to cell organelles or cells and one more function is as we know that these vesicles they are very near to the Golgi apparatus we know that Golgi apparatus are also located near to the nucleus or near to the uh, endoplasmic reticulum obviously this is the convex side and this is the concave side and this is nothing but the formative phase the proteins which is so prepared from this ribosomes as well as the lipids which are so prepared from the smooth endoplasmic reticulum because smooth endoplasmic reticulum responsible for production of the lipids the lipids may consisting of steroid hormones like that the rough endoplasmic reticulum responsible for production of proteins because ribosomes are nothing but the protein factories these materials which are so packed are that will be carried through these vesicles transmit through these uh, convex side or formative phase of the Golgi apparatus so that's why it can also carry proteins and lipids okay so these are certain function which are carried by endoplasmic reticulum hope this video will be helpful for you in the next video I will come up with another cell organelle thank you for watching